but also too, um, when I was younger, I, I don't think I've ever uh, said this on, on a podcast before. Um, but when I was younger, I, I watched pornography. It was, uh, it was introduced to me when I was in third grade. Um, and not only pornography, but gay porn. Um, mm. So that was introduced to me when I was in third grade. And so that's when I believe that same sex desire started to formulate in my head. Um, because when I was in sixth grade, that's when I really remember, like consciously remember liking and being attracted to the same sex. Um, but at the young age of, of seven, eight, I don't, rem- I don't remember being attracted to that until I was introduced to this, this, um, this means. And so, um, yeah, I, I think, I think honestly it had to do with pornography. It had to do with that, um, that horrible view on sex and all the things and sexuality. And so that messed me up. But when I was also younger, I was introduced to pride, to gay, to all those things. Um, and I knew of it uh, because I had a family member that was in that, but it wasn't a, I guess back then it wasn't a big, a big thing, you know, like it is today with bisexual, gay, transgender, LGBTQ community. It wasn't a big thing, but, um, back then I knew about it, but it wasn't something that I, yeah, that I really knew a lot about. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it all started from when I was, when I was in third grade, seven years old, um, seven, eight years old when I watched, yeah, when I watched that. Hmm. Most times I've heard people, um, that have dealt with any kind of form of homosexuality, um, either, they have been molested in some kind of way, yeah, or have or have experienced sexuality at a very, very young age, mm-hmm. and it's crazy how that spirit attacks you in such a vulnerable age, yeah, uh, six years old, seven years old, three right. years old, five years old, and that thing grows with you. And it transform into something that um, will be with you for the rest of your life if you don't submit yourself to the Word of God. Mm-hmm. Was it was it easy um, breaking ties with you, the um, the mate that you were with in that sin? Was it easy? Was it hard? What was that process like? Man, oh man, Lord Jesus, it was hard. It was probably the hardest thing I ever had to do in my entire life. Um, It was so hard. Oh, man, that was probably the hardest thing literally that I ever had to do Um, because I I I was praying to the Lord and I'm like, God, I don't want to break up with her. I don't want to break her heart. Anyone knows me when I was younger. I was a big people pleaser. So I wanted to stay in this relationship because I didn't want to break her heart. Um, But I knew what the Lord was calling me to do. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I'm like, God, you know what? Have her break up with me. I, I can handle it. I can take it. I can take a hit. You know, you know, I'm tough. I got this. You know, she can break up with me and I'll know it's you, God. I'll know. Um, but the Lord said, no, the Lord kept telling me you do it. This is what I'm calling you to do. And so um, broke up with her once, felt bad, got back with her, broke up with her again, felt bad, got back with her. And I'm like, OK, God you know what, if I do this one last time, it needs to be the final time because I know you're calling me to do this. And so that's when I broke up with her the last time. Um, And that was really hard um, because, yeah, I I didn't want to. I didn't want to hurt her. And I told the Lord that. I said, God, I don't want to hurt her. Um, Can can she break up with me? I just, I don't want to break her heart. I don't want to hurt her. And the Lord clearly spoke to me before that last time I broke up with her and he said, you're already hurting her because you're dragging her and yourself to hell. And when I heard that, um, I immediately was like, okay, we we're doing this. We are going in. We are just going for it. We're going to do this. Um, because it reminded me of the verse where it talks about, um, where, you know, if you lead any of my little ones, you know, astray, you might as well have a millstone tied around your neck and drown in the sea. And I'm like, hold on, wait a second. So, so I, I, you know, I'm leading her astray. I'm leading her down this, this horrible path because I'm with her. Um, and I care about, about her eternity. I care about that. So I'm like, okay, you know, even if this hurts, I'm going to do this. So 
that's when I ended up breaking it off. Um, we were friends for a little bit afterwards, not 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 much actually. She went, ended up going on a missions trip, um, and after that, um, I was placed in a season of separation. It was actually prophesied over me before. I went into the season of separation and that's where the Lord really rekindled him and I's relationship together. Um, and it was, it was a time honestly of just weeping, lamenting, grieving, depressed. I felt like there was a dark cloud over my head for like a month and a half to two months at a time. Um, literally every moment. Um, I just, I, I did not feel good. Like, I would cry out to the Lord, like, God, I still want her, but like, you know, show me that you're with me. Show me, show me, show me. And as I'm crying out to the Lord, I'm like, also, it's like, it's like the Psalms where David is so honest and raw with the Lord. And I was just so honest and raw with him. And I even prayed this one prayer and this prayer, I look back on it and it's, it's almost like a slap in the face to God, but God is so holy and so good that he answered even this prayer. And so I prayed a prayer and I said, God, I don't even want you, but I know you're the only one that can help me. Please help me. And he did. He took me out of that. He freed me from that, those chains that I felt like I was literally bound to. Um, and I had no other option. Um, and he said, I, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Like I am your life. This is, this is what you need. This is what you truly need. And so, um, yeah, God, the father fathered me in, in that season. Um, he really, really even disciplined me, um, in many ways. Um, yeah, from being in that sin and, and, and then in this season of separation. And then after a while I was taken out of that season of separation, um, and the Lord allowed me to, um, yeah, to connect with people and later on join this ministry that I'm a part of now. So 